morning friends welcome back to our class ms unit 4 critical path method okay so unit 4 project and project management okay project means after getting the contract from the government then we need to accomplish and we need to finish the total contract for this purpose we need to plan for future course of actions or tasks for doing our project apart from this future course of actions as well as input and output planning and time estimation and cost or amount estimation are also comes under in this project so these all activities are performed by the project management or project manager right this is all about project and project management in this previous class we discussed about cpm pet diagrams right cpm pet diagrams both are same So in the CPM pet uh, diagrams, so here these are the pre-activities of a particular contract having with the company from the government. So these pre-activities are decided in a, in advance before starting a contract or before starting a project. These uh, activities are pre-decided. So for easy understand and easy execution. we can draw a diagram and we can draw a network diagram for our pre decided activities so pre decided activities or presented in a diagram this diagram is called as cpm it was developed by dupont company it is a chemical industry construction project right already we discussed so in this last class we discussed about these four words es ls ef and lf these are the four major key important things float means difference between the es and ef and also float means ls and lf differences float float and the crash duration means crash crashing two things normal time actual time normal time means we planned a time we already fix a for particular time for particular task but actual time means here what is actually time spent in particular task so that actual time and uh, planned time planned time is called as here normal time so difference between the normal time and actual time and also actual cost and normal cost actual cost means actually we incurred we incurred we expended cost for particular task normal cost means here planned cost for each and every task in advanced so so that normal planned cost and actual cost actually we incurred difference between these two also comes in this crash duration right so actual cost normal cost actual time normal time difference between these all things are comes under this crash duration next critical path the drag so this is a simply critical path the path the way critical way so these are the few terms we already discussed next uh, the calculation part of cpm collect the activities means uh, these are the activities so what are the activities we need to have for finish a particular contract that is the collect activities next identify the dependencies dependencies means here preceding activities suppose see have the preceding activity of a d preceding activity of a so these are the dependencies after calculation and identifying the dependencies then create the network diagram like this like this like right like this 
Next, we use the critical path uh, by using algorithms. So calculation between these two points by using algorithms. Next, forward pass. Forward pass means calculation from starting point to finishing point. Next, backward pass means from finishing point to starting point calculation. So next, identify the float of each activity. So identify the float means ES minus LS. Already I told you difference between the ES and LS float. EF and LF also the difference between these two also called as float. Right? So identify the critical path. So in this uh, example, already we discussed in this third way, start to B, B to E, E to G is the critical path. So duration execution. These are the calculation process of critical path. So today's class, we need to discuss about ADM and CPM. So arrow diagramming method. So AOA and critical path method. AOA means activity on arrow. So activity, this is the activity. So this is the activity. Observe these lines. These arrow lines are the activities. So this arrow is one of the activity of B. So this arrow connecting two points, these nodes. So these two points are the connecting of two activities. So here, C, suppose this is, uh, take the example of this thing. So A activity and a E activity. So this, between these two, one arrow is there. So this is connecting of these two activities, A activity and E activity, right? So that is activity on arrow. A O A method. Next, CPM method means just draw, draw this type of network diagram is called as CPM. Already we discussed uh, these two the CPM network, CPM diagram, right? Observe this diagram. So here, Look at this, use only finish to start dependencies. So ADM, arrow diagramming method is used for calculate the network diagram or finish completion of total ES, LS, LEF, EEF based upon finishing point to starting point finish to start means simply backward passing backward passing that method is called as adm method adm method for here look at this dummy activity this dotted row dotted arrow dotted arrow is called as dummy activity so the, this dummy activity is used for connecting two points two arrows so g and D, these are the two activities connecting to G. So simply G activity is depending upon E and D. So simply G is dependencies upon E and D activities. So here we need, we have clearly known that by using this dummy activity, we can easily understand that. So, G having D and E are the preceding activities. So it is, this is the indication of preceding activities from two points of G, right? Next, nodes. So these are the circle points. So these circle points are called as here nodes, node, nodal points. These are all nodal points, nodes, right? And then these activities, connecting these nodes by using a single arrow. These arrows are called as activity, activities, right? So here, starting to finishing calculation, forward calculation is called as CPM. And finishing to starting backward calculation is called as ADM. 
arrow diagramming methods right coming to the features or characteristics uh, of cpf so this diagram features or characteristics the longest path in the network diagram is the critical path so here look at this previous slide already we calculated this thing in the previous class so here starting to a finishing point we have three ways three paths starting to a a to c c to f you have to finish so this is the one path and starting to a a to d and a to finish starting to a a to d and d to finish this is second path and coming to the third path here starting to b b to e e to g g to f this is the third path third path so we have in this uh, example diagram three paths we have so from these three paths we need to calculate here highest duration path we need to calculate which path is having highest duration highest time duration suppose calculate in path one timing so a c f and finish we have from starting to a 3 weeks for path one a to c for two weeks and c to f for path we have one week and finish so for this part we have total duration is 3 plus 2 plus 4 six weeks so from starting to finishing by using this path we have total time duration is six weeks first part six weeks and the second part the starting point to a a to d a d to finish so here time is starting to a three weeks a to d one week d to finish so here three plus one four weeks so we have second path a d finish the second way here time duration is four weeks three plus one four weeks right so second path we have four weeks and uh, coming to the third way starting to b b to e e to g g to finish this is the third way in this third path we need to calculate the time to so starting to b four weeks b to e two weeks e to g one week so g to finish so here calculate the time four plus two weeks plus one week six plus seven total the third week the third path in the cpn diagram we have seven weeks duration so here the highest time taken by the third path am i right so this third path is the critical path method cpm critical path so this third week is the critical path because this way is high high time than compared to second path and the first path so first path having six weeks second path having four weeks and the third path having seven weeks so this three weeks we have the highest uh, duration in the, the third path so the this third path is cpm critical path critical path so that is the point here the longest path in the network diagram the longest path in the network diagram is one of the feature the highest and the longest duration and longest the highest path is one of the major characteristics of critical path method so longest path in the network diagram so this is the longest path this is the first feature or first characteristics of cpm diagram and next uh, coming to us it the critical path uh, specifies minimum project duration so between this in this diagram the second path start to a a to d 
and from D to finish. This is the second part. From these three parts, so the second part having four times of feet. So here in the CPM we can know the minimum duration path. Minimum duration path. So the critical path specifies minimum minimum time path or duration, and we can easily identify the longest path and the lowest path. The longest path and the lowest path. We can find these two from the CPM. So these are the two uh, characteristics. Next, coming to the third point, it indicates the amount of schedule flexibility. So here, scheduling means timetable. So three weeks for this activity, two weeks for this activity, one week. Uh, should uh, use for, for finishing of this activity. So this is all about uh, the scheduling of the total task or scheduling means here the timetable of each and every tasks. So it indicates, CPM indicates the scheduling, the timetable for each and every activity with the flexibility, with the flexibility. And coming to the fourth point, a project can have more than one critical part. So we can easily find here, if any two critical parts are there, or if any three or more critical parts are there, we can easily find out. So in this uh, in this example, we have just three, three parts, and just we have only one critical part, that is start to B, B to E, E to G, G to finish, right? So here, find out uh, more than one critical path. If any, uh, if any paths are there. Next, uh, critical path changes as per the project progress. So, if project is execution based upon our pre-decided activities and pre-actions, pre-decided planning, then this diagram and this critical path will change, will change based upon the inflation or based upon the uncertainty. So, so the critical path changes as per the project progress and, uh, and also the critical path changes as per the uncertainties. Next point, uh, the total floats of activities on critical path is zero. So the total floats. So look at this thing. Already I discussed it. ES, EF, LS, and LF. So difference between the ES and EF, LS and LF is called as floats. So here we should uh, calculate start to finish and finish to stop. The timing is same, not, uh, not having any differences between them. Just we need to have same time from starting to finish. So finishing to start, just to have the same time. That is the point is here, zero. So no difference between the ES and LS. Next coming to the last point of characteristics of CPM is in the network diagram, bold line denotes the critical path. So here, after, after finishing the network diagram and after completion of the paths, and we then we will get the critical path. So in this diagram, starting point, starting to B, B to E, E to G, E G to finish. This is the critical path line, right? So we, mention these critical path in a double line, double line, double line. So in the network diagram, bold line or double line denotes or indicates that critical path by using additional line or by bold the critical path. To easily understand, oh, this is critical path. Right to indicate or denote this board line, we can easily understand 
the critical path from total network diagram, right? And coming to the next slide, features of the CPM diagram. So here CPM stands for critical path method and it is also known as CPA, critical path analysis. Already we discussed in the previous slide. It is a tool in production, planning and scheduling. So this critical path is also used in the production, planning and scheduling also, right? It has only one time estimate for each and every activity. So here, look at this thing. Each activity having fixed time. Suppose C activity having two weeks, F activity having one week. Suppose D activity having one week, B activity having four weeks. So here, it has only one time estimation for each and every activity, each and every activity having only one estimation of time. So that is the point here. It uh, has only one time estimation for each activity. And next, it is used for optimizing resources and minimizing overall cost of project. So here in this project, uh, majorly used for two things. First one, minimize the reduces some time and effectively utilize the resources of the company. So resources means here, I am so men, machinery, methods, and materials, and men, these are the firearms. So by using these firearms effectively and reduce the efforts and time, minimize the overall cost. So these are the futures of CPM. Coming to the next thing, objectives of critical path method. Objectives means here simply targets or what is the need, need or objectives of CPM. So need means or objectives means here to assign time for each and every operation. Suppose take the example of this diagram. So each activity having the time duration. Each, each activity here having the time durations, right? So assign time, assign means here giving, giving time for each operations we have in the projects. And next can to find the critical path maximum. So here, to find the critical path from these three ways. So find out the three critical paths, three ways. So starting to be B to G, E to G is the critical path line. So here, to find a critical path. And next, uh, to find difficulties in course of production processes. So it is another target or benefit from the CPM is to find the difficulties in the production processes or execution processes. So through these CPM diagram, we can easily find the difficult task of a process of production or execution of our contract. So this is the, uh, to, uh, after getting the difficulties activity or difficulties of course of actions, then we plan for how to move in a easy manner and how to do and how to complete these tasks in easy way. Find out that critical or difficulty actions, difficulty actions. Next coming to the last point to accept time, starting and finishing time of our works. So accept time, starting and finishing times of our works. So we can understand the starting, how to start and how to start with which activity and how to finish the total task by which activity, right? So starting activities and finishing activities. To ascertain the starting activities and finishing activities, as well as starting time and finishing times also of our work or of our contract. So like coming to advantages of CPM, it identifies the most critical elements, most critical activities, most difficult activities we can easily identify. Our next benefit from uh, uh, CPM is 
management control become easy right by using the cpm management of project project management is become easy easy to accomplish the total tasks by using the cpm next better and detailed planning is possible by using this cpm diagram right so better and detailed planning so this is all about uh, planning and scheduling of uh, future course of actions to fill or to complete or to finish our total contract or our project so here we can easily understand this planning and we can easily understand the critical parts and we can understand easily what the critical tasks right so here it is better and detailed planning is possible and we can give in timely presentation so next it it will help sir in accepting time schedules so the time schedule is here three weeks for activity a two weeks for c activity one week for finishing of f activity so here four weeks for finishing of b activity so this time in scheduling time scheduling uh, time scheduling uh, plan prior, prior or pre planning for each and every activity having that time scheduling so within the time the task will perform right so it defines the sequence of jobs that determines it so sequence sequence jobs we can easily understand the sequential of operations so here starting point to first a and then b and then c c after completion of a then c and d will perform after completion of c then f will perform after completion of d and after completion of e then g will perform after completion of f d and g then our project will be finished our contract will be closed so this uh, starting to finish we can easily understand the sequential of operations sequence of operations so this is the another benefit of cpm and pet diagrams right so features cpm standard for critical path model and also it is also known as ca critical path analysis it is a tool in production and planning so it is a one of the technique to controlling of our plan of production planning and controlling of our production scheduling next it is a time estimation of each and every activity it is uh, optimizing uh, so useful optimal uh, optimizing the resources of the company so resources means firms so effective utilization of all these resources and reduce the overall cost of our projects next uh, objectives we have to assign the time for each and every operations you as to allocate the time so after allocation of time the each and every uh, activity should perform within the time next uh, find the critical paths find the critical path and uh, find the difficulties of actions difficulties of activities and next uh, uh, starting to finishing time works so starting point to finishing point each and every time we can understand so benefits we have identify the most critical element from all the tasks and at another advantage is so cpm is management control become easy by using this diagram and better and detailed planning is possible it will help us to uh, fix the time schedule for each and every tasks and it identifies the sequence of operations right so another characteristics of the cpm is the longest path we can find out the minimum path also find out so longest path and minimum path of cpm diagrams we can easily find out and it is related scheduling is flexibility of each and every activity and next project have more than one critical path so these are the few futures and objectives and the benefits from cpm diagram right so here already we discussed in this slide also 
so from starting to finishing then it will call as cpm finishing to starting calculation backward calculation is called as adm arrow diagramming method right cpm is for forward adm is for backward calculations right thanks for listening stay home stay safe we will meet in the next class with another cpm cut class right thanks for listening bye guys